Hi, my name is Brenda. Um, this is my second summer canvassing with PYC. And this evening I met a lady called Mrs. Betsy. And she did not want anything. The one moment I got there, she just like, I don't want anything. So I was like, okay, let me show you who's stopping by. And I opened up the back of more choices and I say, we're with the Blue Bible Story Company. She's like, wait, is that like more abundant on your hand? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, come inside. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. So I go inside and I sit down and I actually get the chance to canvas for more choices and lessons of love. She's like, I definitely need the more choices because I'm suffering with diabetes and I just need lessons of love because I feel like I need a lot of love in my life. And I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Like, tell me your life story. And she begins to tell me that she's been a nurse all of her life and there was this couple who was basically drugged up and they had she had a baby and the baby was really mentally disabled and the baby had nowhere to go. So she's like, I wanna adopt this child. And her name is Desiree. So it took five years for her to adopt Desiree, but it worked out. They adopted her and her family was just mad. And the reason is because Desiree's black and Mrs. Um, Betsy's black, um, white. So the family was just like, how can you adopt a black child? I don't understand what you're doing. And I personally said, that's the way God loves us. Like despite what other people think, he loves you despite it all. And she's like, that is so true. And she was able to write me a check for that. And she told me how she has renal failure, diabetes, and she has heart disease. So she's just, she's struggling. Three days a week she goes for dialysis for four hours. And she's just like, sometimes I just feel like giving up. I'm just so tired. And Desiree's now in a nursing home and she's like 26, 26 or 28 years old. And she's telling me how they did a CAT scan on her and they found an STD. So somebody in the nursing home raped Desiree. And she was just like broken hearted. And she's telling me all these stories and I'm like, Ma'am, have you ever, since you've been to Life More Abundant, you know they offer Bible studies and healthy cooking classes, which I know you need. And she's like, I've been there. I've never really like went to them, but I've been there. And I'm like, I really feel like you can use some Bible studies to learn more about God and get the love that you really deserve. And she's divorced. Her ex-husband is in California. So she's alone in the house. So I'm like, can you at least fill out Bible, the Bible study form? And she's like, yeah, I'll do that. I'm like, you can learn how to cook healthy too and like change your life around as hard as it looks. And she's like, yeah, I guess so. So she writes on her, her information and she says Bible studies and she actually wants them by personal visit. She wants Carl and his wife to come to visit her so she can learn more about the Bible. This time, Giselle comes in and we just pray together. I give her a hug and she's just like, I'm so happy you came and you're lucky that I saw that life more abundant because I wasn't gonna get anything from you. So she was able to get lessons of love and more choices. And I was just there to listen and to comfort her because that's what she needed at the moment. And through that, she wants to get Bible studies and just find a love that is just amazing. So pray for Mrs. Betsy, thanks.